Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintBarProps.com. <clears throat> I started a Kickstarter campaign for this about a month and a half ago, and fortunately it was not funded. Um, a lot of people thought that the super, talking supercapacitor flashlight kit was more a novelty than anything, and fair enough relative to the talking aspect. I think the supercapacitor flashlight is pretty cool. The first supercapacitor flashlight that I ever built, I mean, if you follow my channel, you've seen it before. Built it well over two years ago, still working like day one, and I expect for it to live as long as I do, if not longer. Anyhow, I digress. This is the new charger board. I will likely be selling this in both kit and assembled form. I still have to tweak the programming, but it's about 95% done. I'm going to put this into a flashlight and make another video. Obviously, here's my speaker, my uh, <coughs> 200 farad 5.4 volt capacitor bank. Voltage booster calibrated to 9 volts to power my LED, LED bank. You can you, The LED bank will operate at 8 to 12 volts. At 12 volts, it's blinding. Uh, 8 volts, it's still pretty bright. I like to calibrate between 8 and 9 because it saves a lot of power and you get more, you get more time out of these babies per charge. Anyhow, I'm not going to give a full demonstration today because it would take a long time to charge uh, and go through the entire uh, demonstration. But what it does is you plug it in and it says... Uh, it tells you that it's charging. Then, uh, as you hit certain checkpoints, it will say charge at 20%, charge at 40%, charge at 60%, charge at 80%, and capacitors are in the capacitor bank is charged. And there's also a visual indicator here. Now you would have that off the board. Same with uh, this uh, power jack. You would have it connected to the flashlight, so you have easy access from the external shell of the flashlight. But again, this is my first board, hot off the press, and I'm still in the midst of programming. So let me just quickly plug it in, and I'll give you a, a quick show. Flashlight charging. Flashlight charging. So you can see the LED bank lit up there. And uh, so you heard, probably heard the relay switch on, so now power is being applied to the capacitors. Now, if we wait a few minutes, it's actually almost a full charge right now. So I won't say all of the other uh, charges, such as... 20 to 80 percent because we're between 80 and 100 percent charge right now so just give it a second and uh, I'm going to skip ahead so that we don't have to wait for it to be fully charged. charged. So there you go and wait for it. So it will keep repeating that. It will blink for a while and then say Flashlight charge. So there's a visual and audio indicator. Flashlight now, for the final uh, software, what I'm going to do is make it so that this blinks for about 10 minutes before it says flashlight charge. Because this can get kind of annoying if you don't feel like getting off your seat to unplug it right flashlight away. Charged. So there will be the constant LED flickering. It will not actually stop when the device says. Uh, and again, 10 minutes in between. So as soon as it's, ch it's charged, it will say flashlight charge. This will blink for 10 minutes, and it will say flashlight charge. This will blink for 10 minutes, <coughs> and so on and so on until you, until you unplug the system. Now, what I do is I just I've already calibrated the uh, the booster. That's pretty bright. Uh, it's surely easy enough to light up uh, your tent or your basement rooms, such as my Fortress of Solitude that I am standing in. Um, again, I can tune this via a uh, potentiometer on the booster board to be much brighter. Right now it's not blinding, but it, it does leave uh, traces, if you know what I mean, in the eyes. Anyhow, I've got a little bit of work to do on the software, but I could probably finish off finish up the, uh, the software in five or ten minutes. Uh, I spent my Sunday afternoon working on it, so I'd easily get... Uh, 30 to 40 minutes of charge uh, based on the uh, a fully charged set of capacitors. Yeah, from 0 volts to 5.2 volts, it takes about an hour for charge. Uh, the booster cuts out at about 3 volts, and so uh, a charge between 3 volts and 5.2 volts only takes about 15-20 minutes, and you get uh, you get 30 to 40 minutes of light out of it per use. Now again, supercapacitors are not like batteries in the sense. Batteries have a memory. They typically can be charged between 100 and 500 times before becoming more or less useless. Uh, but whereas supercapacitors are not so much like that, they can be, they are designed to be charged and discharged quickly. And 
over a hundred thousand times and I buy from the same manufacturer all the time because I trust the product uh, this is completely designed by me the booster board I uh, I outsource just because it's easy and uh, these LED banks are just fantastic so it comes with a 9 volt adapter I will be selling them in assembled form and in kit form and for kit form I will be having a full uh, assembly video that talks you how to tells you how to calibrate the, uh, the booster how to solder everything together it really really is a neat DIY project and it, while the talking aspect it is a novelty it's kinda neat and I think it's a conversation starter so thanks for watching guys I sincerely appreciate your time and uh, if, especially if you checked out my Kickstarter thanks for taking an interest I'm, uh, I'm really thankful sorry I didn't get uh, funded but uh, take care and uh, have a great day everyone